Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how to get into macro photography for really, really cheap. So probably the first thing you think of when you think of macro photography is macro lenses, and while those have the best quality, they're also the most expensive. There are a bunch of other options that are cheaper than dedicated macro lenses, one of which is macro extension tubes. But the one we're going to be talking about today is macro filters. Um, I bought these from Amazon for about $13, and I was pretty impressed. Out of the box, they come in a little black pouch. Um, there are four filters inside, a plus one, plus two, plus four, and type of sand filter. They're made pretty well out of metal and glass, so they don't feel very cheap when you're holding them. Um, one thing that's nice is that you can stack them together, so if the times ten isn't um, close enough, you can just add another one or two and it'll be closer. The pouch they came in is pretty nice as well. Um, one thing to note is that the Velcro looks a little cheap and it feels like after a year or two, it might start to wear out. As you might expect, the optical quality isn't perfect, but for 15 bucks, you can't really complain. It's not all that bad. You'll notice a little bit of chromatic aberration in the out of focus areas, but it's pretty subtle, so I doubt you'll notice in most pictures. I've had these filters for about a year now, and I've been pretty happy with them. The quality is pretty nice, and you can't beat the price. They're awesome for getting really close up with your photography, and they can also be used to protect your lens from stuff like fire and water while still getting a little bit closer. That's it for my review of these filters. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, and I'll see you next time.